everyone, it's Anne. I am back for another floss tube uh, edition. It is, let's call it late November, 2017. It's the Tuesday after Thanksgiving, so I never look. I never look for the date before I sit down and start this. It's like the 28th, I think. Friday's the first. Anyway, no, today's would be 27th. Yeah, 27th, 27th. Of November 2017. Hi, how are you all? I hope you're great. Um, I thought I would check in with a little end of the month kind of progress report, planning, a little bit of everything, um, and talk about what's going on here. So we had a great Thanksgiving here at my end. Um, it was really wonderful to have my husband home for um, almost 10 days. He is en route today. He's at least first leg of his airline journey. Um, so he'll be home back on the East Coast tonight sometime. Um, yeah, it was just really nice. We got a lot of stuff done around the house. Uh, we had gorgeous weather. It's been unseasonably warm. We're able to enjoy some outdoorsy things. Um, he went mountain biking. All good. All good. Um, so let's just jump right on in. I want to try to keep this pretty short today so I don't run too long into the rest of my day. Um, first up, let's talk FFO. Starweaver. Done. Done and framed. I love it. I love the frame. Yeah, this came out almost better than I thought it was going to. So there he is in all his glory. I thought the framing, they did a really nice job with the glass. It's the no glare conservation glass. So you can actually see the stitching. Um, we picked a frame that's, it's sort of silver, but it has kind of some antique gold um, low lights to it that picked up a lot of the stuff in the, um, stars there and up here I thought um, I, I wanted something that kind of looked like one of those sort of old-fashioned storybook covers so I think they did a really nice job with this I'm super happy with it and you know hanger and all that on the back um, I'm gonna make a little label that has the information about the pattern name and the artist who's Tom Cross, again, it's a Charted by Heaven and Earth Designs, um, but I'm gonna put all that and the fact that I stitched it and when I stitched it in 2017 on the back on a little sticky tag. So my dad will have that to put in his office. And it wound up being, I thought, a pretty convenient size. It's not super, super big. So I know he'll be able to find a little wall space to put it on and I really hope he enjoys it. So that is my kind of big ta-da for today. Um, let's talk about what I've been working on. So first up is the Under the Sea Sal. I have completed the November block, which are the lobster and the cephalopod, the little squid there, plus this cute little snail and more kind of sandy bottom stuff with the oyster. Um, so one more clue left, obviously right here, and then this will be done. I thought that came out really cute. I loved the lobster. I thought that was really, these, this piece, the pieces do not look like much until you put the back stitching in. I think Doreen Jones, I think her designs rely really heavily on back stitch. So if you're not a fan of backstitch, probably not a great choice. I don't mind backstitching, but um, I will say when I talk about my um, next piece that I am doing some backstitching as I go, which I think makes it much less painful. So there we go with that. I've gotten all the little beads for the bubbles put in. Um, and again, just the December clue that will live right there and then this guy will be done. So that clue will come out December 2nd here in the US and 
Um, so my plan, that's one of my plans is to, you know, get right on that and work on that at the beginning of December. So I get that done. So this is a, this will be a 2017 finish. So that is that piece. Um, so once I finished that, well, actually let's talk about the small thing. I showed you guys the kind of supplies for this last time I recorded. Um, I'm using... This hand dyed floss from Color and Cotton from last year from her Flossed Club. Um, and I'm just working up this really simple little Christmas tree type ornament on this blue, it's a 25 count opal Lugana. No, I think. Uh, it's a scrap of something I hand dyed. Anyway, colorway I love. I think it's sort of appropriate for backgrounds for Christmas things. And I love the way that the variegated floss is working up. This is a design from the 2016 Just Cross Stitch Ornaments issue. Um, so, I mean, all I'm using is the variegated floss and just stitching as I go. So I have about that much left, I think. And I'll, I'll likely finish this up this week. Just a little small to be holiday themed. Okay, next, I have been working on my Chatelaine. So the last time that you saw it, the center medallion was completely done, but I needed to do back stitching. And so I back stitched the flowers. I'm going to be honest with you that I don't think if you hadn't studied this the before and after looks basically the same for the back stitching of the flowers and the leaves. I mean, obviously you can see the little cactus um, thorns or prickers, whatever you want to call them. Those appear, but um, it really just, it, you could kind of see it as you worked on it and say, oh yeah, now I've back stitched it, but it was not... It was not like with the um, under the sea sal where you're back stitching in $37.99 and so that gray outline looks like sort of like a pencil drawing line. Much more subtle in here. Much more subtle. Um, I'm going to do a fuller Chatelaine Diary recording. Mm. I may do it with this go round, but I may wait till I work on this again in December. So. I think I probably will record a Chatelaine Diary episode in December, but just to show you guys what I've been doing. So I started the cactus. That's the next. There's cactus the whole way around. And it's these four motifs plus, or three motifs plus this fourth one that I am working on. When I get this one finished, I will put this down um, for a while. But there's the prickly pear, the saguaro, there's some barrel cactus. And I did, um, so these are all completely done from here down. I backstitched them. I did the specialty stitches. The only thing left to do on this are kind of more of these little cactus prickers um, on the prickly pear. And then there's one kind of flowering cactus motif right there. So more details on that in the Chatelaine Diaries. Um, like I said, I'll probably We'll record an episode of that um, after I get my plan is to finish this side and finish this side and then I will move my scroll frames and finish probably the top first and once I do that once I move the scroll frames I will probably start on the there's a specialty stitch kind of octagon border interior border so I'll probably do that next um, but that has been a total blast to work on. I've really enjoyed it. I've loved working with um, all of the cactus are in silks. I've loved working on those. Two thumbs up. Really, really fun. Um, I have not put any beads in yet. I waffled again about maybe, maybe adding beads, maybe not adding beads. And I'm going to just wait till the end because then I can do all the beads and the treasures at the same time. Call it done. So my plans for going into December, which kicks off on Friday. Um, let's see, you guys saw the ornament, so you know I'm gonna work on that. 
I'm going to be working on my under the sea sow, the, that final block that will be on my to-do list for December. Um, December 21st, and I probably will record before then, but December 21st is when the first quarterly stitch along starts in full coverage fanatics for winter. And I'm going to be doing my winter's encounter. I showed you that last time. I was looking to see if I had it handy, but I don't. I do. I think I put it away. Okay, you guys don't need to listen to me flip through my notebook. I will be working on winter's encounter. Take a look at my previous video if you want to see what that one looks like. I haven't touched it, so there's no progress on it to show you just the cover picture from Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, but I am going to do a little holiday stitching then, and I'm going to pick back up this Jim Shore pattern. Um, it's a kit that I got a couple years ago, two years ago, I think. Anyway, started it this year for Mania, um, and, you know, didn't get very far. Those Mania starts are pretty small. Um, I am not doing it on the 14 count Ada that it came, that the kit came with. Um, it does have all of the floss, all of the floss and the beads. Um, but I am not using the 14 count Ada that came with the kit. Um, I wanted it smaller. So I am using 22 count Hardanger from Picture This Plus in the Colorway Legacy. Here's as far as I got. It's just the top border. And it's not even all of the top border. It's just part of the top border. So it's the... It's like this gold part. So. But I thought that would be really fun to work on. That was holiday themed and kind of put me in the mood for the end of the year, the holidays. So I'll work on that um, definitely up to the 21st. And then depending on what other things I get done, I want to put another five days in on my Chatelaine. And I want to do the under the sea cell. So that's probably 10 days right there out of the next 21. Um, and then the winner's uh, encounter will, I'll start working on that again on the 21st. I probably will continue this through the end of the year or through till New Year's just to get some extra stitches in on it. I'm afraid if I don't, it, there won't be much to, like I won't see enough progress that I feel like I've really worked on this. And like I said, it's a fun, you know, themed piece. It's got all the 12 days stuff, you know, Lord's Leaping, Ladies Dancing, Maid's Milking, Partridge in a Pear Tree. And I like the sort of um, quilt background on that too. So, so that'll be what I'm working on, um, off and on, in between things. Um, trying to think if there was anything else. Oh, I did have one purchase. Um, to share with you guys. I was enabled by Stephanie at Miss Oso oh Crafty. Um, I'm sure lots of you watch her videos. She has beautiful pieces. She showed this book, which is out of print technically. Um, so I think she got her copy on eBay. I popped over to Amazon and they don't have any new copies, but they had used copies. And this was listed in good condition, some creases, some marks. I, you know, I'm not really finding it. There's nothing inside. Um, so the original price was $22.99 and I got it for, I think it was $17 and that was with shipping. It was very, it, it was, I thought fairly inexpensive. It was not like I was paying $150 for this book. Um, but the piece that I loved, which, um, Stephanie, sh I think showed on her video, frankly, there's a lot of pieces in here I would make. There's maybe only one or two that I don't personally care for. Um, 
I guess I should mention, it's all Joan Elliott, if you missed that. Um, the Witching Cross Stitch is the name of it. It's this Celtic Wheel pillow. Mm, love this one. It has all of the um, kind of Celtic um, feasts around the outside, and then it has themed um, flowering tree plant things, acorns, holly, the snowdrops, the thistle. I loved this piece. I'm going to definitely do that. I don't know if I would make it into a cushion or if I would do it as an actual hang on the wall type piece. But either way, I love it. I thought it was super pretty. Um, and the nice thing about this book is they break it into, um, like you can do smaller uh, versions of the designs. So there's several of those that are like that where there's little... Other little pieces, like there's the snowdrops and there's the thistle. Um, so you could, if you weren't into doing like an entirely big piece, you could still do parts of it. Um, like this one. I'm not sure that I would ever do this piece as a full piece. I might, but it's not like on my must-do list, but I really like this little individual butterfly cushion, pin cushion that they did. I think that would be really beautiful as a box top, you know, like a little jewelry box top. And then they've also got the moon itself. So, um, yeah, I thought that was a pretty good deal. Um, and like I said, I mean, there's no marks inside the book. It's not like people have written notes to sell. So I guess technically a used copy, but you know, the spine's not broken. Um, it's got very little wear. Like you could get that kind of wear in a bookshop. So I don't know. I didn't think it, I didn't think it would look very worn. I was pleasantly surprised when I open, opened the package. We'll say that. So um, anyway, I have that as a little treat and I flip through that occasionally just to kind of think about what I might want to make out of it. Um, but other than that, um, I think that's it for this go round. That was pretty good. I've kept it under 20 minutes. Um, I hope you guys are doing great. I hope you've had some time to do some stitchy things over the last several weeks. Um, I hope you're looking forward to the holidays, whatever you choose to celebrate coming up here over the next month. Um, yeah, I will check in again in December, give you guys some updates, show you what I've gotten stitched, where I am with things. Hopefully I'll have the under the sea sal finished by the next time I talk to you. Um, so until then, whenever that is in a couple of weeks, um, I hope you have a great stitchy fortnight and, uh, take care of yourself. Talk to you guys later. Bye.